Oh, this was the story of the start and that difference in tactics as 50% of the fleet wanted to go left and the other wanted to go right. Everybody lining up to follow what they thought was the best route to that windward mark. And it was hard work for all of those boats sailing off to the left-hand side to find the best of the breeze. But that was the start that put Sweden on the back foot. At the top of the course for the first time round, of course, Tita and Banti finding the speed, finding the grace, the style and the tactical know-how that has put them at the front of the fleet again and again and leading that fleet downwind for the first time. For the Swedish pair, Jorud and Johnson, that upwind leg, so important to find the speed, so important to find that stability in foiling, and they did just that. They weren't the first boat to reach the top of the course for the final time. Of course, that crown went to Tita and Banti from Italy, but that moment where Germany couldn't make the top of the course and Jorud and Johnson managed to fit round just on their inside, put them in a strong position to attack the downwind leg. Out in front and stretching away effortlessly on the waves, of course, the world number nine pair, the gold medalists from Tokyo, Tita and Banti coming through the finish line in fine style. And there they are, still soaking up that moment on the waters here.